Hello, in this series of videos we'll be looking at the Aqueduct framework and learn how exactly we can build RESTful web APIs using it. So I wrote an article about Aqueduct a couple of months ago, but um, that was for Dart version 1 and ever since that time Dart is now version 2.1 and as a result of that Aqueduct um, is also version 3 which introduces some breaking changes. So in this series in particular, we'll be looking at using the latest version of Aqueduct, Aqueduct 3, to build your own RESTful web APIs. So let's begin. Now, assuming that you have Dart already installed, we can install Aqueduct by running pub global activate Aqueduct. And once you've installed Aqueduct, you can confirm that all is good by running Aqueduct version okay so what we'll do is we will um, scaffold a new project using the aqueduct tool which the command is aqueduct create and the name of our project in this case i'll call it favorites and what happens here is that aqueduct will therefore proceed to generate the necessary files and folders and then it will resolve all the dependencies for the project so now that it's finished, I'm going to open this directory in VS Code. So looking at our generated project, I want to draw your attention to three files in particular. So the first file is in the bin folder um, called main.dart. And what this does is Aqueduct will create an application um, object and then it starts our app in here for us. So um, one of the things is doing towards um, scaling our application is, is looking at the amount of processes we have on our machine and then based on that calculation it's going to um, bootstrap the right amount of instances uh, we need. The second file that I want to draw your attention to is channel.dart and what this file contains is an application channel and what an application channel is responsible for is essentially um, doing the necessary setup and from that setup um, initialize our application so in this example there are two methods uh, that are overridden and uh, we've got a prepare method here is where you do any form of uh, preparation um, logic so setting up your loggers or setting up connection to your uh, Postgres database reading um, information from um, your configuration files and so on and so forth you do that here and then we got a getter called entry point so in our entry point here is um, essentially we'll construct um, the routes um, for our request and um, we'll um, also define um, handler methods such as um, link function or link um, to handle um, requests that come to the routes we define. The third file that I want to draw your attention to is the pubspec.yaml. So pubspec.yaml files uh, contain essentially metadata about our Dart project. If you're from a Node.js background, for instance, um, this is equivalent to having a package.json uh, file in your project. So it's got information about um, the SDK version of Dart we're using, um, including our dependencies and our dev dependent our dev dependencies. Um, so of course in production we'll be using um, whatever is listed under dependencies and not necessarily um, what is um, listed here under dev dependencies. So without further ado let's run this project by typing aqueduct serve and what that does is it will launch our application under port 8888 so I can confirm that's running by visiting there and Immediately you get 404 not found, which is because if we look in our channel, there isn't a route defined for the root path. So we can do that by um, doing router, we can create a root for our root path, and then um, we'll have a link function whereby we'll capture the request and then um, essentially what we'll do is 
will return a response. So, okay, and in our response, we just say hello world. So let's save this and let's uh, rerun this again. So we should now be able to refresh this page and then as expected we see the text hello world. So by default the content type of our response is um, text slash plain uh, which is why we see these quotes there. So of course we can um, configure our response by setting the content type uh, to be content type dot html that way so if i save this and i restart then once i refresh the quotation should disappear so now we have html the final thing that I want to do before I sign off is to create a Swagger client which we'll use to test our, our RESTful endpoints. So Aqueduct allows us to create one and the command to use is Aqueduct document client. What this does is it'll create a client.html file which we can open in our, in our browser. So rather than opening it directly, I will import the dart IL library and then create a route called client which will take a link function and in our handler essentially using the file class We'll retrieve this client file. So, file is called client.html. And then we'll read as a string essentially. So, this returns a future. So, we have to mark this as async. And then we can await for this file. And then, once it's we got the file, we can return our response containing the contents of this file and of course let's set the correct content type content type dot html so I'll save this let's make this final save this and restart the server so now we should be able to go to locals 8888 slash client which gives us our swagger client here. Of course, at the moment, we haven't really defined any operations yet, but we're going to be doing that in the following videos. And the more operations we define, the more we'll see them listed here. So this concludes part one of the series. Um, as always, thank you for watching. I'm gonna make code available on GitHub, so feel free to go to the GitHub link down in the description below to take a look at it. Um, also, if you enjoy this video, do like, do hit um, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you get notified when new content is released. And I'm also interested in your comments to know what you think about um, Aqueduct itself or if you've got any general questions on Dart or any future videos you wish to see. So that also, let me know down in the comments below. I am really looking forward to your feedback and I will speak to you soon. Thank you.